On today's road trip, we're going to take a closer look at this 1959 Imperial Crown hardtop. This car is finished in red exterior with a red interior, and it's actually one of the most beautiful cars in Hank's collection. Hank is the owner, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about this car. Thanks, Mike. Well, the really cool thing about this car is it's 100% original, has 23,000 miles on it. Uh, it's always been garaged, never set out, uh, not even overnight as far as I know. And uh, the paint, the chrome, the leather trim, the stainless, all 100% all original, which makes it really incredible, I think. I've never seen another red one of these like this. I haven't either. When I saw this car in your collection, we took the cover off. I was blown away by it. With a uh, matching red leather and uh, kind of black two-tone interior. Um, with the super, super, you know, incredibly rare um, stainless steel roof option um, called uh, Silvercrest, Silvercrest roof. It's one solid sheet of stainless steel that runs really two-thirds of the top of the car yeah. from, from right to left. Uh, uh, all put in place. There isn't... You know, no dings, there's not a nick. Uh, I don't know how it avoided you know, even yeah, a pebble, damage. You know, frankly. It's uh, really, really nice. And um, We were talking about this. You said it reminds you of the 57-58 uh, Aldo Barone. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. They had a similar, uh, right. similar style, although this seems a little uh, slicker, almost like polished. Yeah, and it's, it's not, you know, it's just the way it came. And I was? guess the other thing is, you know, this was available on any production Imperial that you know, uh, a two-door, you know, a, 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 I'm sorry, hardtop, right? Not a, not a sedan. So it wasn't else. unique to any particular one? Yeah, uh, they put it on in a, in a, in a um, uh, production um, setting. It, you know, an Eldorado Brome was a, you know, hand-built custom car. This was, this was on a production line that, uh, yeah. you know, the Imperial plant um, on uh, Wyoming Avenue in Detroit. Um, that was an Imperial only plant, slur production line. Uh, what caught me about this car, not just the color and the uh, stainless steel top, but it's a hard top. Yeah. It's open in here. It has no B pillar. Yeah, right. Totally which um, you may not think that's a big deal, but it really is. It's really a cool. Uh, well, especially and it's, on something like, I mean, this car is like, it, there's so much coming at you here. It's yeah. Like take it all in. It's kind of a square opening between the uh, vent window across the roof line. Down the C pillar, then across the top of the doors, it's just like one big rectangular opening, and the red is just so eye-catching. Really pretty. Again, that's the original red leather interior from Chrysler. From it's not been restored. It's yeah. very supple. You know, well, that's thanks to the ivory soap. Yeah. Treatment. Hank was telling us a little trick about the ivory soap in uh, one of the other videos. You you gotta, look, it, it actually glows. It looks like yeah. it's been treated with armor all or some pro some kind of product, which is totally yeah. untrue. It has nothing on it. There's no slickness or yeah. wetness to it at all. It's, it's just, dry, but it yeah. just looks so supple. It's really magnificent. Can I open this door? Yeah, sure. I'm going to step around this way. <laughs> that way I can... Here, I'll catch it. There we go. This has under dash period air conditioning, as you can see. Right. Padded also has dash. An under seat gas heater from the factory. This was special ordered by a doctor to do make house calls, and he wanted instant heat. So this has the very uh, unusual. Does that blow out the the back seat, the underneath the seat? Or? No, no, it blows out through the regular vents. Uh, okay. But I can't imagine ever using it. It'll blow it sounds you very out dangerous. Too. Yeah, right, right. So anyway, so and of course. As in Look all Imperials, it has a um, separate, storage separate storage compartment in each door. And um, this, this is, is trick cool. right here. This is a power swivel buckets. Right, right. So it has a, it's a six-way power seat frame, and then each 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 seat also swivels out. And we've all seen it in the uh, coupes and the convertibles, but I got to be honest, I've never seen that in a four-door hardtop. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm sure they, they obviously did it. Right, there you go. Yeah. It's got a spring to make it easy to move or move back and forth. And check out the Imperial on the uh, sill plates. Right, just in case you can't remember what you're in. Yeah, with the scuff And of course, you also have it on the door. A glove box door, too. Yeah. Look at the switches. I'm going to so, sit in here just for a quickie. Sure, help yourself. Just look around a little bit. 
Got the uh, original uh, radio. Yeah. And these are the push buttons for the heater. Yeah, correct. You know, Chrysler was in love with push buttons. It's got all kinds of switches underneath the dash for the uh, AC, is that, for the yeah, that's vents? Rear, that's the rear heater and defroster and then the clock. And then the clock switch, and there's the clock right there. Right. Right in the center right there. Beautiful dash in great shape. He's got this gauges. Yeah. Original dash pad. There's the original dash steering pad. wheel, you know? Yeah, um, the steering, steering wheel's pretty cool. Crown in the center of the horn ring. Yeah, maybe I can pick that up when I get on the uh, driver's side. This is pretty neat in here. Plenty of room for your in-laws in the back seat. Look at that. Two-tier two package shelf, which is a bizarre thing. A two-tier package shelf? Yeah, behind the back seat. So instead of just shooting straight back, it's got, it's like a split level. Oh, yeah. How about that? Look at that. I don't know what the, the purpose of that is other than styling. Yeah, it's just styling. Make it a little more deluxe. It's got the rear uh, armrest. Right. And all, in, all in the original leather. And I'm going to shut this door. Sure. This I'd like to open the back seat. You were showing me the... the, the uh, let me do this. Okay. Look at this ashtray. Oh, right. Look how the ashtray works. It's like works. a roll top desk. Look at how the ashtray right. works. And of course, a lighter for each. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen or what? Each um, person, but. Leave it to, to, to Mopar. And you know, to do something it's, different. It's all, it's all die cast. You know, there's no. There's no plastic. There's I no mean, plastic. There's no runner. It's just metal against metal sliding. Everything here was right. meant to last 100 years. Yep. You know, they hope you trade the car in in a couple of years yeah, and two, buy a new two, one. Two, yeah, they want you to come back in 61. Yeah, but, but yeah. The little did they realize the car they made the year before well, was going to last 100 years. You know, that's exactly what happened to this car. This car was traded in in 61, and the family that I bought the car from bought it in 61 used and just kept it beautifully. Yeah, this is amazing. This is the original paint, original chrome. Yeah, uh, uh, it's also got the flight sweep deck lid. Which is what the, the faux tire, the embossed uh, tire on the trunk. It's got, got these, these very cool, uh, and the crowns on on. Uh, yeah, look at the detail there. On the rear of, of the uh, hoop, the around, ring there. Right. Of course, as I said, Tom McCahill called these sparrow strainers. Yes, I remember from the other right, car. Right. So anyway, it's got the rounded back window here. Yeah. Well, remember the convertible top on the other yes. one? It was supposed to look like that. Yeah. So. Really, really a nice car. Why don't we look at the uh, engine real quick? Sure. This is, again, it's a totally original car, so the engine compartment looks like the engine compartment on a 1959 automobile. There yeah, this is. is not as detailed as... Uh, not as pretty as you'd expect, but again, three horns, so you've got low note, high note, and then the mid note. Yeah, this is... down and across. Hey, remember, this is an original car, even though it's gleaming on the outside. There's a lot of hours polishing this car, but it's the original paint. Okay. Original hose clamps. The uh, engine compartment. This is a working engine for a 50, yeah. 60 year old car. Yeah. Chrysler V2 compressor, the original uh, generator. Huge vacuum tank, right? right? Then, then behind it is the uh, perfect circle autopilot cruise control. And then there's the bellows style booster. I want to look at this, uh, the detail here. Look at the crown on the front corner of this fender. Yeah, and the eagle. Right. This is not just a piece of trim of a V. It's, it's actually an eagle. Yeah, it's a bird. It's right. a bird. It's the crown over the bird. Check out that grill. Yeah. I, this is the Eleanor Roosevelt front end. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you, if you're not sure, go look at a picture of Eleanor Roosevelt. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to go around here if I could and just open the driver's door. She never saw an orthodontist. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think we know what you're talking about now. Okay. But I'm going to sorry, open this door. It's not that I don't like Eleanor. <laughs> sorry. Well, we all have a, we all laugh at each other once in a while. Right, right. This is an amazing dash. It's got the push button uh, transmission. This switch here, Hank was showing me, is actually the turn signal. Yeah, Exner. You see that? Not like stocks. You know, you know how today we've got two stocks. And everything yeah. in the world is off of those. You don't have a stock on this side. There actually was a switch none at right all here on either side. Right. So there's no turn signal stock and there isn't a shifter stock. So, Well, I think this car is extremely uh, beautiful. It's got the Autronic or Autotronic eye. Autronic. Autronic yeah. eye. Yeah, 
They purchased that from General Motors. That's the electric eye to dim the um, headlights automatically. I'm going to go back here and take a little bit of a quick look back here. Very it's unique. It is a beautiful car. I mean, all we did was basically some detailing. I think the red color, red interior, red exterior with the stainless top just sets this thing off. I've never seen this much. Uh, it's almost like a velvet bead headliner. Yeah, I've never seen this much uh, tension. I mean, the headliner, it's just this fuzzy, fuzzy um, velvet, really. Uh, head. It's not an acoustical. Here, put your, put your hand up there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. You want to roll around on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, I love the car. I love the color. The combination, the red interior, red exterior, it's it's something that just jumps out at you. This, this is one of those cars you remember. When you go to a show and there's 500 cars, this is one of those few cars you would remember uh, from a show. Hank, thank you for showing it to us. Oh, you're welcome. Folks, if you like this video, uh, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Um, leave us your comments. Tell us what you think. I'm always uh, interested in hearing what your comments are. And thanks for watching. Thank you, Hank, for showing us.